We're getting ready to install the window. The first step is we're going to put the sealant on to have a good seal between the window and the thermal block. We're going to leave the seal open. We're not going to put any sealant in there because the thermal block itself has a slope to it to go to the outside. Anytime the window would leak, all windows eventually are going to leak. Whether it's condensation, whether uh, there's movement over time, they're going to leak. And this is one of the things that I really like about thermal buck too. I want to point this out. When you typically make a pan flash, you only come up six inches. And what happens to the rest of this? What happens if your window leaks where your sashes come together? What happens if it leaks up towards the top? All of that moisture is still going into the raw wood. It's going into your house. It's going into areas where it's going to cause issues. Here, we're watertight the whole way around. We seal the back. That way, any moisture that comes in, no matter where it comes in the window, it's not going into wood anywhere. It's going to come straight down to the bottom and come straight up. So we'll start out with putting the sealant on. We overlap the bottom by about an inch to two inches. Then we go the whole way around the side and the top perimeter. Now, if you'd like, you can put the sealant on the back side of the planche overlapping the nail holes. Uh, but I prefer to do it this way, that way I don't get the sealant on my fingers. Set the window into place. One of the nice things is, you've got a seam in your windows, and you've got a seam in your thermal buck. So, you can pretty much line up the window in the center by lining up these seams. We put one screw to hold the window in place till we check for level and plumb. The screw that we use, we need to penetrate the stud at least an inch and a quarter. So what we're using is two inch thermal buck and then we got a half inch sheeting. So we've got two and a half inches before we even get to the stud. So we got to add another uh, inch and a quarter onto that. So we're looking at three and three quarters inch minimum screw or nail. You can nail this too if you prefer. I like to use screws. Make sure you follow the window manufacturer's instructions at this point. Okay? We're looking tom and level. We'll put the nails or the screws in at an angle. That way we make sure that we go in and we get. Plenty of the stud. Now, as you see, we're tightening these up and we're getting them very firm. We're denting the thermal buck just slightly so we know we're good and snug. We don't want to do it too tight because then that can affect the way the window operates. We just want to make things good and snug. 